All right, you guys, man, I got my good friend here, Zach, man, with his awesome uh, BK2. I'm gonna have him explain a little bit about the car. Go ahead, man. All right, so this is my 2015 BK2 uh, 3.8 Ultimate. For everybody out there, dude, everybody wants to know, the first thing that most people want to know is uh, what in engine mods do you have done to the car, man? Uh, as far as engine mods, it has a 3.8 performance engine leash, 3.8 performance manifold riser, and AEM short ram cold air intake and exhaust uh, tuned on E85. Awesome, awesome, man. Love it, dude, man. Hey, we got a little something uh, for the end of the video, so you guys definitely stay tuned, man. Um, we see you sitting really low, and of course, you guys, as you already seen, it's not static, dude. So uh, what's your uh, suspension setup? What do you have right here? Uh, suspension setup is Airlift 3P Performance. And as far as wheels and tires go, running Odhan wheels, uh, this is the DSO2 series. Uh, it's a deep dish series in hyper black. Uh, specs are 19 by 9.5 plus 15 in the front and 19 by 11 plus 12 in the rear with uh, stretch tires to make them fit. Oh yeah, you're looking real good, man. You're looking real good. All right, so let's move on to the interior, dude. And that interior is, mm, I love it, dude. So uh, what what interior pieces do you have when you're checking out? Interior pieces, uh, Sparco Sprint blue seats, uh, NRG harnesses and harness bar, removable steering wheel, and this little wrapped carbon fiber center console kind of bring it all together and draw the eye in a little better. Cool, cool, man. Love it, dude. It's an awesome build, man. Um, we'll put his Instagram down below. But one last thing, we got a shout out to the person who actually, the shop that actually wrapped the car because it's the biggest eye catcher, dude. Everybody, you're not sure. Dynacool, that sounds familiar. Cars, the Cars uh, cartoon uh, uh, movie series or whatever. So, so that's the inspiration for the build. Of course, me having Project Batmobile. I love the fact that he has a you know a theme to go with the car man and hopefully we can inspire more people to come out with with awesome builds like this and awesome themes like this dude too and it's also something really nice dude you guys i gotta make sure you follow him on instagram um you know watch his instagram stories or where he's always keeping people up to date with uh what he's gonna do with the build if he's gonna possibly change the wrap or if he's gonna keep the wrap and rewrap it redo it and everything like that um some a little bit of charity work, you know, um, as far as like charity cruises and stuff for the kids because this is one thing that the kids are going to love. So I definitely have to bring my friend Zach on the channel to show off his awesome build. But uh, the shop that wrapped it? Shop is a uh, wrap topist located in your Belinda, California. Awesome, awesome, man. So you guys have all the information you need. Follow this man on Instagram. Any further questions, obviously hit him up. If you hit me up, it's not my car. <laughs> I wish it was. But it's not. I got the Batmobile, not the Dynaco. <laughs> not the Dynaco, uh, not the Dynaco car. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the footage, man. We're gonna go ahead and uh, now, now's the good part. We're gonna go ahead and hop in this crazy whip and uh, take it for a cruise, man, and see how it feels and see how it handles, man. So y'all, hope y'all enjoy that. Open it like right here and then, where do I lift it up? Okay, there we go. Bam. I ain't never done that before. Gotta put my bag at my feet. Oh yeah, these bucket seats. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I put back system. That's crazy. All right, let's roll. Let you guys hear the car. Turn around so you guys actually see what we do. So of course, it's fresh new on E85. Uh, E85, 3.8 performance, uh, manifold riser, 3.8 performance engine leash, bags of course, wheels, tires, exhaust, all that good stuff. And I actually beat a 2.0, uh, was it on Saturday night for the first time, which was exciting. Oh, yeah. And he's like, after we did the pull, and I just pulled on him hard, got off the exit, and he goes, oh, we got to rerun it. Um, my exhaust was rattling. I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> and we reran it again. He beat me once because I didn't get in gear in time, but other three times he ran it, no issues. And then he's all, just wait till I get my tune. I was like, okay. <laughs> but 
I was like, go oh, big turbo and E85 and beat me, but even though, I mean, he wasn't some like another 2.0 that I raced before that's like 400 wheel horsepower, so yeah. can't beat all of them, but yeah, that one was an exciting one, so yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Last time, what was it? We our conversation. You said what was your setup? It was on open downpipes. So that's just basically a primary cat to your uh, downpipes, and then open. I turn downs, and after going air ride, it just got too hot and not worth it anymore. Too much uh, noise in the cabin. Yeah. So. So I was like, ah, oh, might as well and get a custom, somewhat cat back exhaust, so. Yeah. yeah. It sounds good, man, I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You like the pops and stuff, dude. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Dustin Davis from 3.8 performance so kind of gave me a little more torque and stuff like that up higher so yeah. feels a lot better especially going to a smaller wheel size and the all around going from a 20 to a 19 it's definitely better oh yeah that does I'm on 19s on mine and, you know, I mean that's the stock or whatever yeah. I don't see myself ever going bigger or smaller I'm just going to stick with the 19s for now you know? I mean, 20s look good. Um, I know a couple of people that run 20s, but it's kind of have to be static. If you run bags on 20s, you don't go as low. So I was like, oh, I want to like slam the car, so we got to go 19s. And that one inch difference is huge. So. That's a cool car, man. Is that from, that's the Cars Land paint job, huh? Yeah. Yep, Dynacle. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. It's awesome. That probably happens a lot, huh? You get a lot of compliments. All right, whoo, that was a fun ride. Ooh, airing out. <laughs> I like that. I like the bucket seat. That's... So yeah, you gotta get to, it's kinda something to get used to, whatever. You get to like a certain, you open up just a little bit and then you gotta lift up, but I don't know if I didn't eat my Wheaties or if I can't do it correctly. Uh, let me get out this seat first. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do Lambo doors. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm all super rookie. I can do it from the outside though. I was like trying to lift it from the inside. It just, it feels weird to me. And it's when it's not your car too. It's like, yeah, it's not my car. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that ride. Go ride along, dude. Oh man, that was fun, dude. I like that, man. I'm going to bring you guys a lot more awesome content just like that, dude. Oh, so you guys stay tuned to the channel, man. I got a lot more planned for y'all. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that content. Hope that inspired you guys out there to go out there and build the car the way you want to build it, man. And for you to enjoy it and for other people and kids all of all ages to enjoy it. I enjoy it. I'm a big kid, dude. I'm a grown... 
<laughs> I'm a man child. <laughs> so I had a good time and hanging out with my friend Zach, dude. Um, known this guy for a while, dude. Been watching the build and lately he's been um, making a lot of waves with all the mods he's been doing. And he's been on my list and he stopped by. I was actually on the Instagram live over here at Cartooners just uh, chilling and stuff waiting for um, us to, um, waiting for the chance to have BK2 Minutes is uh, BK2 get worked on. Um, but yeah, so he was like, oh, I'll stop by. I'm in the area. I was like, okay, let's shoot a video. Dang, just like that, dude. I love having good friends like that. So um, make sure you check out that man's Instagram, dude. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Keep up to date with everything's going on. KDM Cruise is still on as we speak. There's no plans for cancellation unless anything happens. We may have to push the date back. But follow KDM Cruise um, on Instagram to stay up to date. And that's it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Just remember, I should say at the end of all my videos, always see the glasses half full, not half empty. Stay blessed. Stay safe. It's your boy Kevin Smiley signing out. Kevin Lord, E2 TV. Peace.